We'll show you an example measuring with a dial caliper, similar to what we did in class. The first thing you must do, as with any of these measuring tools, is make sure you zero it out. You may notice on this one that it's not set to zero. So what I need to do is make sure I loosen, the, loosen it off. I've already pushed it in so that it is snug. Then turn this so it's zero. Then tighten that thumb screw back up so it'll stay there. Now I'm ready to measure. Keep in mind too with the dial caliper we can measure thickness of parts, interior or exterior measurements. We can also using the other end of it measure the depth by how far the piece comes out here. So it's a useful tool in many ways. What we did in class was we measured the width of a pen. So we're going to do that again. I'm going to zoom that out a little so you can see. So, take the tool, I'll open it to roughly the thickness I believe I'll need. And I'll close it to the point where it feels right. There we go. Now I can read my measurement. I'll zoom in so you can see that better. So, here I've got a tenth of an inch, another tenth, so that's 0 0.1, 0 0.2. The 3 is shown, but the bar is not, so it's not quite 0 0.3. And the dial supports that. You see the dial came to 8.9. So what that means is, and I'll just move this so I can write, 0 0.2 inches, plus on the scale, it was an 8.9. I moved it a bit when I set it down because I pulled the pen out. But it was at a 0.89. So that's 0 0.089 inches. That's what that 89 represents because this is measured in thousandths. So with the dial caliper, I come up with a measure of 0 0.289 inches for that pen. So, the other two videos we used a micrometer. Here we used a dial caliper. They all come to basically the same measurement, given that this device goes to one thousandth of an inch. Watch the micrometer video where it goes to ten thousandth of an inch, or one ten thousandth of an inch, to get an idea of the difference.